this has got a two-pronged response, I think. Um, firstly, you need to understand what's been taking place traditionally. So with traditional analog audio systems, there's a certain level of, of control and, and input required by the user. Um, this, along with the differing uh, audio quality that you get from analog, has now what we would deem seen educational facilities suffering from what we would call bad audio. Not just bad audio in the sense that the audio quality is, is, is as good as it could be, but also in the sense that it requires the professor or the lecturer or the teacher to have some kind of input into the equipment. Now this takes up time and it's not good for a teaching environment to be able to have the, the, the teacher spending 15-20 minutes inputting into the, uh, into the audio system. With the new Sennheiser uh, digital uh, offerings that we have for the educational market, we can remove that need. If you look at our Speechline Digital Wireless, for example, it has frequency hopping, it has automatic gain control. All of this is something that normally or traditionally an analog system would require some kind of input from a lecturer. So what we're doing is we're allowing the teacher to teach and the students to learn without barriers because it, it is promoting a more conducive teaching environment. From the second part of uh, uh, my, my response is you have to understand what's taking place from a technological point of view when, when we talk about digital. The capture part, the analog part, remains the same. So we, we, we traditionally manufacture a microphone, we've been doing it for, for 75 plus years, uh, and the capture element remains analog. So you, you get the audio signal which comes from a microphone which is used the acoustic air and transferred into electrical energy. It's then what you do after that that, that, that makes it digital. So we convert that analog audio into a digital data fundamentally. And, and, and the point behind doing that is it allows you the ability to be able to move the data around a network or, or, or in this case across to a far end listener or student who's a distant or remote learner. So I'll start off with what we consider as, a, as the backbone to our, uh, our systems for education, our control cockpit software. Now this is a free software suite that we offer for control and monitoring of our systems. The point being that the control and monitoring needs to take place in one location. And traditionally, uh, AV systems are managed by IT departments in, in educational facilities and they need to be able to work quickly and they need to be efficient in, with their time. Uh, if they're having to run to classrooms to change batteries in wireless microphones or to do such and such with the radio frequencies, then they're no longer effective. So the, the control and monitoring system uh, uh, software allows them to have all the data from every single device on their mobile phone or their, their laptop or, or whatever uh, smart device. This then means that they can look proactively into any one of the systems before a battery change is needed so that they can target the action that they need to take just to the specific rooms that they need to go to. So the systems that that software controls would start off with the wireless digital microphone system. We, we manufacture what we call our Speechline Digital Wireless. It is the only targeted and um, dedicated microphone system for, for speech. There are in, and, and any more on the market. And it has things like um, auto level game control, frequency hopping and so on. Then we also offer uh, an assistive listening for people with determination who have uh, impairments in their hearing. So this is a, an over Wi-Fi system that the, the user then just connects to with their smart device, tunes into the channel that they want. There's a small um, a hearing assistant within that. They can then either get the audio to, to a pair of headphones from their smart device or we make a loop that goes round the neck that allows it to transmit directly to either a cochlear implant or a hearing aid. There are a few. <laughs> um, it, it all, it's all about how easy we're making this for the user. As I mentioned earlier, we want these students to not have barriers to their education and sometimes audio systems can be deemed as that. So, um, the main feature is this control um, and monitoring system from, from our control cockpit software. But when you look at the, the, the digital wireless microphone system, which I have in front of me here, so this would be a, a traditional handheld microphone for example, but more so what's happening these days is teachers are using either Lavalier microphones or headboard microphones, such as this. And then that connects to this transmitter, 
which then connects to this receiver. This receiver can be anywhere in the room. Now the feature set that's in that receiver allows us to automatically mix up to four channels at any given time. So you don't need separate audio mixing for, for four channels in a room. Uh, this system also has table mounted uh, microphones and gooseneck microphones that can be used with it. So if for example you're in a, a classroom, you can have a couple of the microphones on each of the tables for, for particip participation from the, from the students. Then when you look at our uh, uh, frequency management system that's built into this, no longer do you need to go up and say, oh, there's interference on this radio frequency, I need to manually adjust the radio frequency. It does all that for you. It frequency hops from channel to channel. If it sees any kind of interference, it will automatically move to another channel. The lecturer probably won't even hear this happening. It'll just happen automatically. You'll have no input into it, and it's just it's done naturally. Similarly, with the, the gain control, rather than having to adjust manually, when I say gain control, I mean like the, the amount of audio that's been transmitted. Uh, inside the capsule of the microphone. Uh, some teachers will speak rather softly and some teachers will speak rather loudly. Now, depending on which teacher, you would manually adjust the, uh, uh, the gain control. However, this is automatic. With this, if a teacher is talking really quietly, it will automatically increase the sensitivity so that the amount of audio going into the system is at a better level for everyone. And the same, if, if a teacher is really loud, for example, then that will automatically adjust down the way. Uh, when it comes to our mobile connect assistive listening system, this is a, a, an audio over Wi-Fi um, system that uses the principle of bring your own device. Now, this is a much more inclusive principle when it comes to people who are, have hearing impairments. They don't want to go to the front of a classroom, have to pick up a receiver and listen to an audio feed that's coming from the tutor. They just want to be able to turn on their phone, be quite unobtrusive about what they're doing and, and, and get an audio feed that's coming directly from the, uh, from the lecturer. Built within the um, app for the, the mobile device for the user, we have a hearing assistant. Not all hearing impairment is the same, as I'm sure you can imagine. Some have low frequency deficiency, some have over, um, uh, overactive high frequencies. So we've worked with the Fraunhofer Institute in, in Germany to come up with this little hearing assistant that allows you to adjust to your own sort of hearing tone or, or, or uh, impairment. Uh, then lastly, our Team Connect ceiling microphone, which is a, a contactless ceiling tile literally fits into the ceiling. You don't need to do anything with it. It has an array of capsules or microphones inside it that allows a, a beam to be focused on a person that's speaking. Okay, now this beam is dynamic. It can move as the person moves. The phase of the microphone changes as the person moves around. So it's always focusing on, on the same person. Uh, in terms of the, uh, the software, the amount of control that you have in there, it doesn't just relate to tone and, 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 uh, and monitoring. You can set it up so that it sends SMSs or emails to particular staff members. If 30 minutes from now there's going to be a battery change required in a particular classroom, that person will get an email saying, can you go to this classroom to ensure that they're, they're, they're acting in a proactive fashion rather than reacting to, to a, a, an irate lecturer on the phone saying, can you come and help me out and running there with batteries and, uh, and, and so on. It's about ease of use, it's about removing barriers to education for the students, basically. It's definitely the remote learning, isn't it? I mean, that is the key trend that's happening here. Uh, all remote learning environments require audio capture. We make audio capture devices. We've been doing so for 75 years. So, And we've got patents and, uh, patents and awards in, in microphone manufacturing that, that ensure that we are able to offer a, a solution that's well tried and tested in this current environment. So when it comes to the software, the software is multifaceted. You don't just need to use our software, there are other manufacturers of control systems that these, that our devices sometimes need to be built into. Now that control allows you to do the same amount of control as our software, but using a third party uh, system. Um, you can set it up so that it gets room information, the person can just look at a, a tablet for a room, a particular room, get all the information about the device. Now we have um, uh, one, one customer um, at a particular university who's quite adept with this control system and he's designed it so that whenever a teacher enters the room they're using a key card to enter the room. So they, they put the key card on the RF uh, receiver and the room then gets configured based on the, uh, the, the, the key card. And, and right down to the height that the gooseneck microphone has been positioned to, to, to match the height of that particular lecturer coming in.